My name is Chase, I'm here with Miss Telfer, and today we are interviewing her, what she does at the high school, and what she offers, and what kind of groups she does. Okay. Hi. So, I am the student assistance counselor here at the high school, and uh, I've been here for the last 22 years, and I do a number of things. I do individual work with students who have different types of issues going on at home or at school. And I also do groups every semester. And groups are offered uh, on a rotating schedule for eight weeks, um, beginning in October and ending at the end of November, beginning of December. And then again in the spring, February through March. Um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about some of these groups and what they are. Um, we uh, usually this sign-up sheet that looks like this will come around to your um, first period class and you'll have the opportunity to either say that you're not interested in doing a group with us here um, this is at my group room this is where we meet there's another counselor named uh, Ms. Canaram and she also helps do different groups um, but the types of groups that are available are anger management. If you feel like you have a need to work on your anger, that would be a good group to sign up for. Um, students of Solutions is basically for students who want to have a positive attitude and want to meet with other students who want to maintain that positive attitude. We have a Young Women's Issues group or Young Men's Issues group. Um, we also have a, a, a Senior and Junior Class group. And that, that particular group is for students who really want to work towards transitioning out of high school. Maybe you're doing um, advanced classes and you're here half a day and you're getting ready to go to college full time, either as a junior or a senior, and you want to get support and look at the types of transitions you need to make to do that. Um, we also have a grief and a loss group. If you've had a loss recently of any sort, that's a good group to come together with other students who've experienced the same thing. Um, we have an LGBT group um, for students who want support um, in an environment that can explore those types of issues. Um, and we have a divorce or family breakup group. And I'm certainly open to doing other types of groups if students have an idea that they want to put out there, but right now that's what we have to be signed up. Um, so uh, that kind of explains the groups that we offer. And um, the other thing I guess is when do you sign up? And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to send this around next week in your first period class. So what you'll basically do is check off the first one if you don't want to do a group. And then if you do want to do a group, you check off the ones you're interested in. And we'll put you in the group um, that we have space in um, as soon as we can. So you can number, let's say there's three different types of groups you want to be in. You put one, two, three on the groups that you prefer. Um, there's also a space here if you want to see me individually and get additional support that way. Um, I can certainly call you down and we can talk about that. And um, then you fold this in half and you turn it into your first period teacher so nobody sees what you put on here. Um, and they'll get it back to me confidentially and we'll notify you uh, when your group will start and give you a pass to be able to get out of class on that uh, rotating schedule I mentioned earlier. And the rotating schedule is basically, um, you know, one week we might meet second period, then the next week we would meet third period. So you're not missing the same class more than once or twice in a semester. And teachers are behind this and uh, administration is behind this and it becomes a really good opportunity for you to get support where you might not elsewhere get it. I have a question. Sure. Like when, like say if like you come here for parent divorce, whatever they say, does that stay between you and them? Well, it is a group setting and we do ask students to make a commitment to confidentiality in the group. What's heard in the group stays in the group. And for the most part, that holds true. Um, most kids want to come here and have a safe place to be able to share. And so when we come together, it's a small group, usually anywhere from five to eight students. And um, everybody's on board to make that commitment, or they don't do the group. Um, and certainly, if somebody were to break that commitment, they couldn't be in group any longer. But for the most part, I never had to really kick anybody out. Um, kids usually want that space to be safe. Thank you for telling us about your groups and what they're for. Great. Sign-ups should be coming around sometime next week.